Did you know that we have a pig for a pet? We do. Look at this. You see this? Look at that. That is a pretty clean hole in the bottom of that bag. Kepler had a buffet last night. Hello everyone, and welcome to Monday. You a piggy? You a piggy? I hope you don't run into any sort of tummy troubles from chewing through foil like that. I got a message earlier. I was upstairs working. I got a text from Mal, and she was like, uh, you need to come down here. So I came down, and she was like, the guest bedroom is open. Did you leave it open? And I was like, no, I haven't been in there. And she was like, well, I haven't been in there. She's like, I'm worried that Kep got in there because that's where we keep the spare food for Kepler. And I was like, well, you know, he has opened doors before. It, it's something that I don't think he's super consciously aware that he can do, but he's opened them. We've seen him do it. And, uh, you know, we, we have the extra dry food under the bed in there. So we went in and looked. Sure enough, there's a big hole and there was some food spilled out. And we weren't sure how long it had been there. I did a vlog recently where I went in there. It was just two nights ago. I actually checked the footage again because I was like, oh God, did I close the door? And I did. So I did close the door behind me. But um, we're suspecting that maybe he did it like in the middle of the night. And he went in there and was like, oh, hey, I smell food. I should eat through this bag. I was curious, though. I was curious. How much, uh, how much did he eat? Because you just weighed him. Because I just weighed him. Because I weigh myself and him every Sunday. And uh, on Sunday, I weighed him and he was 15.2 pounds. I just weighed him now. And he's 15.6 Almost half a pound. You ate almost half a pound of food. He doesn't care. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I always thought that we had done pretty good by putting the food in a different room. But if the cat can open the doors, then maybe that's not such a good solution. Anyway, obviously he didn't eat the whole bag. It was a big bag. And, um... The, his normal feeding, what do you call it, box, crate, container, was was nearly empty anyway, so we just poured it all in there and it fits. It was fine, but uh, yeah, he's had plenty to eat today. Plenty to eat today. Anyway, hopefully you won't have any tummy troubles. Although, I bet you will, both from eating through the bag and then also from eating as much as you did. He feels heavier too. I thought it was just in my head because I was like, eh, I know he's eating some. I should weigh him. And then I weighed him. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> you really did eat a lot. Uh, it's dinner time. What are we What are we doing? Shrimp and asparagus. Oh, okay. What kind of shrimp? You got the panko bread crumbs out, right? I'm going to fry it. Oh, that sounds good, it's Mel. It's been a very long time since we had any fried food. Yeah. No, I'm... I'm, I'm so totally down for that. That sounds incredible. Um, we've uh, we both been working a, a little bit today. We woke up a little late because st stayed up a little last night and played Red Dead. But it was fun. It was fun. I had fun. Mal Mal's been enjoying it, which is nice. Dan also swung by earlier today um, briefly to pick up the uh, the mail drive that has July and August mail on it. So um, he tends to work super, super fast. So I would expect July mail probably pretty soon, probably within the next few days. So if you sent something in July and you're looking forward to it, um, continue to look forward to it, I guess, because it, be, <laughs> it won't be long. Uh, we've also had these shrimp for a while, haven't we? Yeah. Well, it's time to eat them then. So I made some asparagus. We haven't had asparagus in forever. So those are cooking up. And Mal's uh, breading up these shrimpies. Mm -hmm. Whenever I can, just let me add them. <laughs> oh, I'm excited for shrimp. This is a really nice looking meal, Mal. Yeah. Like... We, we don't fry things basically ever. Yeah. So... 
It's a nice change. Yeah, it's a learning experience. <laughs> Every time. Yeah, we haven't made asparagus in a while, but we also haven't made fried shrimp in a long time. Ever? Ever? No. Maybe. I think we have. Mm, don't know. Maybe. Um, Mal also made a uh, a bang Firecracker. bang yeah bang bang sauce, replicating the yeah. Well, I guess it depends where you eat it, but there's a lot of different restaurants that have um, that style of sauce. Um, I'm really curious about the asparagus. Asparagus is really good. Oh, is it good? Mm -hmm. I was. It's been a long time since I made it. Hmm. Oh yeah, mm, that's good. You're gonna be super excited about the shrimp. Really? Mm -hmm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. See, my first instinct whenever I have fried shrimp is to get the cocktail sauce out, but Matt was like, "No, no, we have a we have a special sauce today," and I was like, "Okay." So I'm gonna dip it in here. There's more sauce if you need it. Sure. Isn't that it's really, really good? good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mmm. Where'd you get that recipe? I don't know. I searched Coffee Cat Bang Bang's shrimp recipe. Oh, well, it's good. But they don't fry their shrimp like this. They just do like a buttermilk yeah, baking yeah. soda. I mean, using um, the panko breadcrumbs mm -hmm. always gives things a different con uh, consistency, a yeah, different texture. Does. But I actually like it. It feels lighter. It does. Um, which I which I enjoy. I'm trying to get all the meat out of that before I get to the deal. This is a great dinner. Mm -hmm. This actually feels really nice because um, I felt like we worked so hard yesterday. This is like a little reward. There's also more cake. <laughs> I wanted to make this last night, but the shrimp weren't thawed. Oh, uh, okay. This is wonderful. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you so much for watching. After this, we got to get back to work. The house already started on her next painting. And, uh, you know, I'm always juggling something. <laughs> Trying to make sure I can get more 2018 stuff out soon. Uh, Kep, I haven't seen Kep since we started dinner. He tends to run once the sizzle starts. He hates the the sounds that come from the kitchen. But uh, I probably won't have to feed him again until right before bed. He's probably set. Oh, there he is. Oh, huh? Oh, there he is. We were just talking about you. You ready for more food? Press X to doubt. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?